Hi everyone, it's Nico here, and today I'm reacting to Seventeen on Dingle Music. Now, I know about Dingle Music. The only one I've ever reacted to, or the, the concept behind these videos, is that a K-pop group artist, or just like any artist that decides to go on Dingle Music, because I think Anne-Marie and Harry Styles has been on here before, is that they come on and literally just sing songs, like their greatest hits, or songs they want to sing and it's just like a whole like 20 minute to 40 minute session of just music and songs that they're gonna sing and the only one that i've really seen is red velvet's dingle music episode and just because i love red velvet and to me it's just like anything red velvet i'll watch um i've been a stan since 2014 so there you go so this is really like the first one i'm gonna watch aside from the red velvet one um just because it has like 55 million views. I mean, I haven't really stand Seventeen that much, but I do know that they're one of the groups like along with BTS that I'd say are like highly relevant. Like they were from like the third gen K-pop kind of craze and move. And so it's just like the fact that they're still so relevant proves that they're just like the greatest, one of the greatest boy groups of all time. Um, I know Seventeen are like crazy energy. They have crazy energy. That's all I know. So I know this is going to be really fun to watch. So yes, if you haven't already, please give this video a big fat like, as well as hit the subscribe button down below and turn on bell post notifications so you don't miss out on one of my videos. And with that being said, let's get straight into this reaction. There's only six links? That makes sense. It's, it's too much mics if it's like... <laughs> If you have all of them. I have a nice. Sorry, I'm gonna go back to the start because I was not paying attention. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the way they come in oh. They're already bringing the energy I was just. <laughs> 야, 반갑습니다. 네, 딩고 킬링 보이스의 저희 세븐틴 왔는데요. 오늘 아주 신나게 놀다 가도록 하겠습니다. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. 가보겠습니다. Let's go. Let's go. Adore you. Oh wow. Uh -huh. Their still Your voices boy. are so clear. Ooh. Oh, I should really know their names. This guy, I know he can sing. I know he can sing that. Sing though. Um, so the way he came in, let me just go back a bit. Ooh, okay, that fry was crazy. Burn on, and it is boo. <gasps> Manse! This is actually the first song I've ever listened to. I love Manse. Yes, this is It's also really cute because like the people who are singing to the mic are doing that but then the other boys in the back can just be like vibing, dancing, chilling. Okay. Uh, I love the song too. 
We're not as so cute, honestly. I don't know his name, but he's every time he's singing, it's like so vocal. Oh my god. His so voice was so clear there. Yeah. Am I a Am I a Why do I know all these songs? Oh. 어쩌면 하나 둘셋저 멀리서 오 좋아 하나 둘셋나 실패 나의 밤은 딥딥하지 않는 딥이 시끄럽지 내 맘처럼 넌 대체 어떠한 이유로 내 맘을 꼭딱 곁에니 멀대로인지 그게 싫다 난게 아니고 no 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 혹시니까 너무 할까봐 걱정돼서까지 내 맘이 그래 나는너며니노버너너는마치지도비겸스머예너는여친내가느껴받을수있으라면온전네 <웃음> 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 His voice too. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, okay, I I don't know this one. His, his name is Hoshi, right? Oh, that's true. I know, like I just know all their names. Oh. This already sounds like a bomb. I love Renard's rap. He's like lower register. It reminds me of Felix from Stranger Things. I can't get over how cute his voice is. How have you never heard of this song before? I'm gonna have to listen to this after this video. <laughs> I'm sorry, the way they're just like all looking at him like this, like just like, you know. Oh my god, Mingyu, I know he's Pop Base's favorite child. But you guys see those Pop Base tweets? Base is always like using like the craziest ad adjectives ever on Mingyu. I'm like, listen, I get it. I get it. Mingyu's hot and. Ooh. His flow? Sorry, I keep pausing, but was this was there this many vocalists in seventeen? I thought there was only like two or three. And then like the rest are just like rappers or whatever, but like a, a lot of them can sing. So I'm <laughs> I'm sorry, Verdon's face right here. <laughs> I just saw that. Um, yeah, no, like, a lot of them can sing. I feel like they just love their own music, and they know it's good, 
and they just like vibe with their own sound and stuff and they're just like a fun group of guys so yeah i love i love everything about this video right now <laughs> <laughs> They're so funny too. This white hair is so white, I can't. It's like the same color as skin. <laughs> the way Hoshi asked him how do you feel right now and he was like I don't want to cry <gasps> okay but for real though Wanwu Wanwu has to be my favorite Okay, here's a little red. I used to be a Joshua stan, and then I used to be a Vernon stan, and then I used to be a The Eight stan, and then I used, used to be a Hoshi stan. See, like, everyone's just bias wrecking me. But now that I'm grown and I'm like a cultured K pop stan, I'd say that Wanwu, Wanwu has to be my favorite. Like so far, I, I I think someone said that I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right here, but it says to all the new fans here, Wanwu isn't talking or singing much because he was having a hard time because of personal circumstances. Which you know what, there's like 13 of them, so if there's one member who needs to take a back seat, then that's fine. You know, do you King get better, feel better, and all that. Um, but yeah, no, that was so funny. <laughs> 울고 싶지 않아. I don't know if they were trolling with that one. <laughs> okay. 사랑해. So 사랑한다는 말이 so 부족해. So 그 어떤 말을 꺼내 봐도 너 하나만 아끼도 날 두고서 어디 간 거니? 내가 쉬어 어, 어져서 멀리 간 <gasps> Their voices! It's like butter! And then you have this man who's gonna like vocal like everyone else. <laughs> Oh, 
Wait, why is this also a superior song? Why does I'm sorry, why does Seventeen have so much superior songs that I'm not aware of? I thought I already clocked all the superior songs under their discography. Turns out there's just like so many other songs that I just not aware of. I am going on a Seventeen discography like so many of these songs are so superior. I'm just like. Where was I? Where was I in 2019, for real? This is so good. Wow, this is like an emotional support song. That was so cute. Well, it's false, so I can't really do that, can I? Well, it's false, so I can't really do that, can I? Ron looks so good there, I'm sorry. Like, he is so fun. <laughs> he is so good looking. <laughs> okay. Him and his glasses too, like... It all started with a TikTok I saw, an edit of him, and then I just became obsessed. Okay, so our next song is Darling. <gasps> the English. It's our first English track, yes. and it's a love letter to our carrots, so hope you guys really love this song. It's for you. Okay. And stream Darling, Darling. Darling. Ryan, stop it. I want to know what problem board type are. DNA. First day my feet and worry. Do you bet? Yeah. Do it for your car every night. But I can't wait no Oh, it's this song. <gasps> this is like the song that put all over like TikTok, like when it came out. Not seventeen calling you carrots, darling. Sorry, as a K-pop stan, I swear if K-pop idols could sing in English, y'all would be deceased. Y'all would be so freaking deceased because these lyrics right here. And half the time, 
are actually like 80 percent of the time their songs are in korean japanese whatever it may be and it's just like we don't even know what they're saying so honestly like getting to see the captions and you know hearing the lyrics is like a cool experience i'd say which is like good for like you know artists who come on to dingo to sing their songs um whatever language it may be because then like you can actually see their, their song lyrics in english uh but the way he said kiss me baby just come into my arms like okay i'm not i'm not i wouldn't call myself a carrot but i would say if you are a carrot like that probably that probably killed you because that was a lot. That was a lot for me. I just, you know, let me just listen to this one more time. I'm gonna treat you better. I'm gonna see you better. I'm gonna see you better. So honey, now come into my arms, yeah. Kiss me, baby. Kiss me, baby. Oh, this is the, the clap song, right? Oh, <laughs> the way Hoshi was just. That's funny. Paksu. Okay, S Coops is she's so good. S Coops, let's get it. Brasu. Uh huh. That's a serious okay, hype song. <gasps> left hand, right? I love this song too. Left hand, right. They don't really catch the music. I'm, I don't know why I'm just realizing this now. Oh, he took off his jacket. Okay. The vocal runs are crazy, I can't believe it. Whip it, whip it, but ah, rip it, rip it. Okay, okay. That's a bit. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh my god. I can't take this song seriously. Okay. I blame Exo Kitty. Is it the Minho scene in the airport? You know, you know, but it's just that scene in this song for the room for me. <gasps> it's over! Yeah. What? 
that felt like 10 minutes. Come back, get it going. Oh. <laughs> oh. The way they tricked us with that. I think this was actual. It'd be funny if they just came back right out. Like, it's not done yet. How do they say it? Um, Paksu. Paksu, right? You know what was so great about this video, and I can tell why it has so many views? First, the energy. The energy is immaculate. It's so good. But they just feel like a bunch of like young men who are like having just fun. Like they're just like trolling, having fun, like dancing in the background, just boys being boys. And definitely that energy kind of like, you can kind of feel that yourself. Like you feel like you want to be there with them. You also feel like you want to like hang out with them. They just seem like such cool guys to hang out with and be friends with. And then second of all, like all the songs slap. There was not a single bad song in this whole like what 20, 21 minute video. Like that's crazy. Not a single one that I would just be like skip, you know? Like all, like you could see my reaction that I was like, where was the song? Like when did they come out with this? And then three, like the vocals, the vocals, like, oh my God. I don't know what mics they use or if they just put like, like, I don't know, autotune on those mics. They probably do. But like the way Hoshi, uh, like the blonde boys, uh, Wanwu, not Wanwu, Wuin, Wu, Wuin, Wuin, I don't know their names. Guys that were singing, uh, like, I was just so impressed by. The vocals were just so cre- like, oh my god, I should not say that. We were so buttery. It was so smooth. It was just, it just- I don't know, so clean, it was so good, like so clear, the vocal runs, like everything they were doing, like the volume, I could not get enough of. And this just made me realize that I need to go to a Seventeen concert. Um, I know they had one this year in Toronto, um, but yeah, like I didn't go to it because, you know, I like Seventeen has just always been one of those boy groups where I'm like, oh, you know, they're just like, I like their music and I'll listen to like the releases that they have. But I'm not like a stan stan of theirs. Back in like 2015 era of K-pop, like you honestly just like stand a lot of groups. You all had a bias for every group. You had a bias record for every group. Like there's protocols to these things. But I'm not really like into doing all that anymore just because I'm older now. All, all these groups are like younger than me and I just feel old now. <laughs> <laughs> to be standing them um but groups like 17 like yes this is like very much up my alley i don't think there's anything else for me to say so if you guys haven't already please give this video a big fat like hit the subscribe button down below and turn on bell post notifications so you never miss out one of my videos and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one bye